Good evening. How are we all? I hope you are all good. I've got a few people that I need to tag in this. I actually feel a bit sick doing this, so um, uh, I'd really appreciate some support. Um, I know there were some people that asked me to tag them, but I can't remember who it is. So, um, oh, I can't remember, I think Trish, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find you. Hey guys, as you're jumping on, smash the like and love button for me. Um, I'm just going to add a few people in to this. Um, this Facebook Live I actually is making me feel sick that I'm about to do it. So um, please show me some love and all the rest of it as we're going through this, guys. Because tonight I'm going to talk about what's going on on the planet right now. And I'm going to get emotional. <sighs> already I'm going to get emotional so um, please share this with anybody that needs to hear it um, please you know just do whatever you need to do with this um, I'm going to continue to invite a few people there's a number of people that actually asked me to tag them in this video um, so apologies if you've asked me to tag you and I didn't um, I you know I can't even remember right now who I'm supposed to be tagging all I know is that I have to tag a few people and it's a bit scary with what I'm going to be speaking about so um right I'm just going to leave it where it is um good evening guys um happy Sunday <sighs> what a time we are living um on this planet right now it's a pretty profound time um now, I, I need to share some things with you this evening, guys, and I appreciate that some of you are going to get pissed off with me, some of you are going to get triggered, some of you are not going to like what I've got to say, um, and I just really, yeah, Pauline, carry on and share if you need to share it, my darling. Um, I actually don't know where this is going to go this evening, guys, I just, I've just i I've written some notes so that I can keep on track, um, but I'm feeling really emotional like really, really emotional. I um, smash the like and love button for me, guys, if you at the moment have a sense of fear, a sense of what the fuck is going on in the planet, a sense of like you don't know what whether you're coming or going, you don't really know whether the government are doing the right things or anything, smash the like and love button for me if that's where you are sat right now because the reason I've jumped on this evening, thank you. The reason I've jumped on this evening, guys, is because I've got I've got to be honest with you. And I know that this is really gonna upset some people. Um, you know, over the last three years of my life, I have been shown, I mean, let me take a step back. Over the last three years of my life, I have gone from working in an office on the corporate trading floor, um, doing all of this stuff, to somebody who is completely like if if you could um look at bipolar um you would put me and my old self next to each other and some of you guys that know me um you would know that that's absolutely factual and i'm going to explain to you tonight why i have changed so massively significantly and i need you guys to just if if anything that i say this evening you think i don't believe this please either just jump off or just take a big deep breath and just keep rolling with me i don't know how long that this, this live is going to go on for like i say i've written some notes which i don't normally do but i think it's time um and please give me some support as i go through this guys because I think it's time that we start talking about facts and about what we can actually do right now to make this situation that we're living through um, at the moment a better place. Um, I've seen so many, f like so much fear mongering on social media over the weekend. I've seen people like ignoring elderly people, like to go and get the stuff that they need from the supermarkets. And that is why I decided yesterday evening, I was mortified at some of the stuff I was seeing. And I decided that tonight was the night that I was going to jump on and I was going to be so open with you guys as to why I have changed so massively in the last three years and like I say I am going to get emotional doing this I get messages every single day from people that I used to work with saying like what the hell happened to you and tonight I'm going to bet all guys and you know over the last three years I have been told I'm crazy I have been told I'm nuts. I have been told by people that I love and that people that know me that I'm absolutely off my head. Um, you know, I have had conversations with people over the last three years and 
they haven't like literally they've been like you don't know what you're talking about like why are you saying this stuff and they've kind of like drifted away from me and I guess it's those people tonight that if you are one of those people and you are watching please either just listen or please just jump off you really like this isn't the time or the space to be starting to be mean to somebody who's just going to be delivering something from my perspective okay so over the last three years guys about three years ago I was shown something significant that was going to happen in the world something that was going to change the world forever I was shown very clearly that I had been given a purpose on this planet and I had to deliver a message and I didn't know what it meant. If my ex-boyfriend jumps on here, hopefully he'll comment and he will um, let people know that what I'm saying is true. I ended my relationship three years ago with my ex-partner because I said to him, I literally, I know that I have got something that I need to do on this planet and I can't articulate it to you. I can't even begin to share with you what it is right now, but I just know that I've got something to do. I've been given a gift this lifetime. And he thought I was cheating on him. He thought all of this stuff. And basically, within a few weeks of me and him splitting up, I was shown very clearly as to what was going to happen on the planet. Now, this is going to seem a little bit crazy for some of you guys because you would have been watching me over the last few years travel around the world, having a jolly. So many people say to me, oh, my God, I want your life. You're on a jolly. You're on this. You're on that. Three years ago, I was shown what's happening right now. Three years ago, I was shown that the world was going to go on lockdown. Three years ago, I didn't have a clue what it meant. I literally, I didn't have a clue what it meant. But what I knew is that I had to trust. I literally had to surrender my life and everything that I knew and I loved, including my ex-partner, including my safety net of my career, and my ex-partner's just messaged me. He's so fucking connected with me, it's ridiculous. I haven't spoken to him in ages. He's so fucking connected. <laughs> Guys, I know I'm not um, empowering you to have much faith right now, but I need you to just go with me. I need you to just go with me right now, and I'm sorry to be an emotional wreck, guys. I just haven't ever spoken this outward. I've, I've, t thankfully, I told someone two and a half years ago what I had seen and what I'd been exposed to, and she thankfully is still by my side today, every single day. And I was shown three years ago this exact situation that we're going through right now happening. This exact situation. I said to her two and a half years ago, the planet is going to get locked down. There is going to be mass hysteria, I promise you. And my girlfriend Claire messaged me literally about an hour ago and she said to me, babe, last February when we were in India, you told me it was going to happen next March. And I did. <laughs> Guys, a lot of people don't get me these days because I am super connected and I have all of these insights and I have all of these visions and I hear all of this stuff and like I literally know what is, I literally know what's happening before I know what's happening. Like I communicate with people and I'm like, I have got no idea where this is coming from. <sighs> But three years ago, I was basically shown that this was going to happen. And I was shown very clearly that I needed to travel the world. And I, if I was intuitively drawn to somewhere, I had to go there. And what I've been doing over the last three years, guys, and this is going to blow some of your minds right now, is opening vortexes, um, opening portals so that the light can come through. Now, I haven't known per se what I've been doing. And I appreciate, like I say, this is going to be a bit much. This is going to be a bit much right now. Bill, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but this is live. <laughs> so I can't take your call, babe. I'll call you back afterwards. So basically, oh, bless him. Can somebody that knows Bill Ingram just message him and say that I'm doing a Facebook Live and I can't speak? And he's been commenting on here, so he should know it. Anyway, like I was saying, guys, oh, God, I'm really trying to pull myself together. So basically, um, three years ago, I got all of these insights that this was going to happen on the planet. 
Um, then over the last three years, I've obviously been show I've been being called from pillar to post, and a lot of you guys have been watching me, going, "Oh my God, I want your life! I want your life!" And to be honest, it's been the best time ever. I've learned some of the most incredible healing techniques. I have learned from some of the masters on the planet. You know, I have literally, like my my whole life has completely changed in the last three years. And like I say, two and a half years ago, um, it was in June 2018, I was, actually that's not two and a half years ago, is it? It's it, just under two years ago. In June 2018, I was actually in Vietnam and, um, and Cambodia and I was shown very clearly exactly what was going to happen here and I was shown um, insights into what was going on over there um, so that I could put it into co context over here. So... I know that this is just a little bit of an overwhelming brain dump for you guys at the moment, but please just hang on with me, okay? What is going to come the other side of this is going to be beautiful. What is going to come the other side of this is going to be beautiful. And you have to trust me, guys. I have been trying to drip feed, and I don't use the word trying very easily. I have been drip feeding stuff to you guys for the last three years. I have had Self Love Club with Lucy Davis under a different name set up for the last two and a half years. And I've been plugging information into there. I share very openly in that private group. And I decided yesterday that I had to share openly on my timeline because of the mass hysteria that is taking place around the planet. And it is really really it's causing trauma for so many people and I need you guys to trust me I appreciate I probably could have told you this a long time ago but a lot of you guys weren't ready for this genuinely you were not ready for hearing the stuff that is going to go on now I need us to come together as a community like, I literally need us to come together as a community, guys. And this isn't Lucy speaking, right? This is my soul that is saying, if we, if we start pulling together rather than absolutely invigorating this fear that is properly going on at the moment, guys, please know we can absolutely manifest whatever we want out of this. I know what's coming. I see what's coming. I, I know there is so much going on behind the scenes, guys, that you just do not know about. There's mass arrests taking place. There is a massive clean-up mission going on this planet. <laughs> there is a massive clean-up mission going on this planet, and I'm so proud to have been a part of it. So proud. There are some people out there that have been working on this endlessly tirelessly for like tens of years I've only been on this I've only been included in this for the last three there are people out there that have been working tirelessly to do this stuff guys and I need you to trust me I need you to trust me more than anything right now I really really do because if we can pull together as a community if we can pull together and love on each other and help our neighbors and do all of the right things in the supermarkets rather than elbowing people for fucking toilet roll if we can do this stuff guys we can come out so much stronger than we have ever been in our life I see what is on the other side I see Someone sent me a picture the other day and they were like, do you think this is what's going to happen the other side? And I was like, no, I see it. I see exactly what we're going to get and it is going to be amazing. But what we need to do right now is come together by our heart space. If any of you guys want to know, like, the ins and outs, like, I literally share the ins and outs. I'm sharing the arrests. I'm sharing absolutely everything that is going on behind the scenes in my group because I don't want to freak all of you guys out. The reason I jumped on here tonight is because I am fearful for the people that keep promoting the fear. I am really fearful for those people. We have to come together in our heart space, guys. We have to come together as a community. I don't care if your friends are in Australia, in America, wherever. We have to link arms. Because, guys, I want to be really open with you. I want to be really, really open with you. I can't believe I've cried. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to cause hysteria any worse than it already is. I want to be really open with you guys. Over the last three years, one thing that I've learned is that I've needed to drip feed information to people. Um, a, a 
couple of years ago, um, I actually got had a go at by somebody who I thought was a friend, um, telling me that I was fear mongering and I was scaremongering and I was saying things <coughs> about somebody that had passed that was out of turn. And actually, the fundamental fact is, it was stuff that I knew. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing now. Somebody, like, I feel like somebody's trying to mute my voice. <coughs> if you don't like what I'm saying, guys, please just drop off. <coughs> There's a spirit that doesn't want me to be speaking the truth around me. There is a spirit around me that doesn't want me speaking this truth. <coughs> The fundamental fact, though, is, guys, that no matter how many people have told me I'm nuts, how many people have told me I'm crazy, I fundamentally have been sharing every step of the way with people that I know and love and trust because of exactly this moment, because I have known that this moment is coming. And the only way that we are going to survive this... Guys, smash the like and love button for me if you or someone that you know suffers from anxiety. Smash that like and love button for me because... All, and I'm not putting it down by saying all anxiety is, is anxiety is basically your soul and your human are not connected. What I mean by that is there are hundreds of millions of people on this planet that are suffering with anxiety and the doctors and the systems are holding them in that space. Now, what, what I know is going to come the other side of this next six weeks, two months is going to be people's anxiety and fear is really starting to drip away. Because nobody is crazy thinking that this world that we live in right now is, is not completely nuts. This world that we live in right now, thankfully, I have been shown both sides of the coin. Otherwise, I would probably have depression. I would probably have anxiety. But because I am so connected and I'm being shown constantly excuse me, the, the next step, if you like, and what's coming in the future, I have absolutely no fear. But there's a lot of you guys and girls out there that are suffering with anxiety and suffering with ill health. Why? Because that is what this world is forcing you to be. And with what is going on on the planet at the moment, guys, the energy is shifting the world is on a mass cleanup mission and I need you guys to trust me with that. I'm not going to go into any more details here, but you have to trust me that there is a mass cleanup operation taking place. And like I said, I've been, I've been very blessed to have been exposed to this for the last few years, which is why when people say, who on earth have you turned into over those three years? This is why I got shown my mission on the planet and I have not let anything stop me because do you know what? I have hundreds of thousands of people that I love around the world and I don't want people to slip into what's going to happen over the next six weeks or so and lose their minds that is why I decided tonight was the night that I had to come on this on on my open social media channel and actually speak about this now please remember I have been abused verbally physically because I talk about this stuff a lot of people do not get this stuff okay I'm not expecting you to get it I'm just asking you to drop into your heart space and just trust me the way that we are going to get through that, it, this is as a community. The way that we are going to get through this is by connecting our hearts. The way that we are going to get through this is by stopping and breathing. Before we have a go at somebody or tell them that they're crazy, let's just stop and listen. Let's just stop and put ourselves in the other person's shoes. Because what if they know something that you don't? What if? Please, guys, don't judge anybody right now. There is so much judgment. We have been basically programmed to judge each other, to hate each other. You know, there are so many people that, that are going to be coming through as the heroes. And a lot of people have thought that they were bad all the way along. And I want you guys to just really recognize that. I really, really want you guys to recognize that. <laughs> 
Now, some of you will be sat here going, okay, this is a conspiracy theory. Like Lucy saying that she knows all of this stuff. This is just another conspiracy theory. And guys, there's just a couple of things. One of our, a very, a very good friend of mine, and I actually class her as a mentor, sent me a video last night, um, overnight. So I'd already committed to doing this Facebook Live. I went out on my personal page last night and said I was going to do this Facebook Live. And overnight, she sent me a video of a man who is a film film producer um, in America and he basically said something which I was so grateful she's a messenger right I was so grateful that she shared with me and he was basically saying because like I already I already know there's people out there that are going this isn't science this is a conspiracy theory how would you know that this was coming along blah 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 like I could hear it all, all all before and actually what I what I heard in this video today was who remembers when smoking, I mean, a lot of us probably aren't old enough, but who remembers hearing that smoking used to be good for you? Like it was healthy. The doctors actually said that smoking was good for you. Back in the days of the war, smoking was good for you, you know, because they needed to keep the troops awake. They needed to, you know, like, let's remember Let's just remember that some of this stuff, you know, is has now actually been proven that it was never a conspiracy theory. So please just be mindful before you start pushing that out and dismissing this stuff, guys. I appreciate this is like an absolute bomb that I'm drawing, dropping on a Sunday night. But I just want you guys to remember that there have been some of these situations in the past where we've actually ended up going, ah... Maybe the conspiracy theorists were correct. Okay, so we've been programmed for judgment, to unfriend, to condemn anyone with a different opinion of us. You know, like what you have to remember is united we stand, united we stand, and divided we fall. It pays the bills for us to be divided, guys. And this is why my self-love club group with Lucy Davis in the last week has seen about 150 people join it because we are coming together as a community. We Like I have my Facebook lives blocked all of the time. They get cut, stopped, they get cut, they get blocked, they get, you know, hidden and all the rest of it. Why? Because I talk about some controversial shit. Why? Because I am not going to sit in the pockets of the people that are governing what we can and we can't say. Guys, I have been given one hell of a responsibility this lifetime and that is your lives. I can't play with them. Like, because that's my little sisters. That's my dad. That's my mum. That's my big sister. That's people, that's strangers in my group that I've never met, but I love like my family. And you guys might think I'm being dramatic by this, but it's not. We have to come together, guys. And I'm sorry to be so abrupt with you and be so direct with you. Because you guys know I like you to feel into stuff. But right now, I see fear. I see hate. I see blame. I see everything that is controlling us and that has controlled us for years. I don't see many people coming from their heart space. I don't see many people thinking, okay, what can I do? How can I serve? I see people trying to push their supplements. I see people trying to push their products and push their businesses when right now we need to just be coming together as a community and showing that 1% that are controlling all of this. Trust me, that, that is being broken down as we speak. It's being broken down as we speak. The matrix, as I like to call it, is absolutely being dismantled, guys. And I need you to trust me. I feel so freaking emotional, as you can probably tell, because the last three years of my life, I have dedicated 100% for what's about to go on here. <sighs> guys, we are going to have some tricky times. We are going to have some tricky times and I haven't wanted to share this, but I have to. We are going to have some tricky times over the next few weeks. The UK will go into lockdown. The UK will go into lockdown, okay? 
and it will I don't know if it's going to be for 10 days two weeks but that's going to be I, that's what I'm being told is going to be the maximum period so please do not panic when that happens we have to come together at that point we have to um, I'm also being shown that technology is probably likely to go down for a short period of time. Again, I don't know what that looks like. All I'm being shown, and I and I told Claire this um, in February 2019. I told Donna this two years ago, two and a half years ago. We are going to go, everything is going to go down, guys, but it's going to be for the greater good. So if for any reason at any point you lose your social media, you lose your access to your technology, please guys, I'm going to give you a list of things that I, I'm doing at the moment and I'm encouraging my group to do. And if any of you guys want to join Self Love Club with Lucy Davis, literally just go and find it. I'll pop a link in here as well. Um, I am going to do more stuff on my profile, but as you can see, it just makes me an absolute wreck because opening up, telling people what I've been doing for the last three years makes me really vulnerable and I just as much as I want us all to be vulnerable and as much as I know that we've got to do this guys this is really 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 scary you know this is really scary because I'm basically opening up a whole can of worms that a lot of my best friends and my family don't even know the conversations I've had to have with my family in the last couple of days have been amazing awful beautiful, loving, happy, sad, they've been everything. <sighs> so doing this stuff on open social media is just like way too much. Anyway, where was I? I was going to give you guys a list of things. Um, just before I go on, I really would love, I need to reiterate this again, we must be coming together right now, guys. If, if somebody says something to you that you don't like, know that it's from a space of fear that it's coming from. Please know that it's a space of fear that it's coming from. Don't judge them. There's no judgment at this time, guys, if we can possibly help it. Because if we step into a space of judgment, we're in a space of fear. I am being shown very, very clearly that what we have, the other side of the next couple of months, is going to be beautiful, we are going to have a lockdown, like I was just saying. We are going to probably lose technology for a little bit. And when that happens, guys, that's what I was going to do, give you the list. I want you to read. I want you to read. I want you to ground. I need you to drink more water. Get out in nature. Go barefoot. Breathe. Pick up leaves. Touch trees. Whatever you need to do. Make sure that you get grounded because these, these times are going to be pretty scary. Okay? Eat grounding foods. What I mean by that is root vegetables, if you possibly can. You know, they help ground you. Your beetroots, that kind of stuff, they help ground you at times of stress. Switch your TV off, guys. As much as you possibly can, please, I empower you to switch your TV off. I haven't watched TV in the last three years because I was told very clearly, this is what's coming, you watch the TV, it's going to scare the shit out of you and you're not going to do it. You're not going to see this mission through. So switch your TV off as best as you possibly can. Technology, step off of it if you possibly can, guys. I'm limiting my time on technology. As you guys know, at 8 o'clock every evening, my phone is off. I might run over a little bit tonight, but my phone is off at 8 o'clock every single evening. I do not watch the news. I do not watch TV. I don't look at newspapers for a reason because they are actually programming you for negativity. They're programming you for fear. And what is happening is the fear is where our immune system is being compromised, guys. And I'm not saying that this, this coronavirus isn't real. I want you guys to know that. I'm not saying that it isn't real. What I'm saying is, is that we are well enough to be able to fight it, but we need to be coming from our heart space. If we can drop into our heart space with everything and pull together as a community, guys, and do these few things, drink more water, use the time, if the technology goes down, use the time to declutter. 
use the time to come together go and check on your neighbors have meals around each other's houses meditate so many people fear sitting in their own company and I really recommend meditation as you guys know I have done so much over the last few years of meditation and it has it has given me a lot of answers and then I thought no you're crazy Lucy that can't possibly be what's happening and then I get shown physically which is why I got taken to Vietnam which is why I got shown why I did in Cambodia and I've never spoken my Cambodia story and I never will show my share my Cambodia story but what I need you guys to know is that when I left Cambodia um, I flew to Australia and I went to one of my friends houses and I literally said to him I need to be on my own my mind had been twisted that's the only word I can use my mind had been twisted so badly on that trip I literally thought I had taken a trip I literally thought that I was completely off off my head I thought that something had happened to me I'd lost my marbles I needed to be sectioned I literally thought I was going crazy but then what's happened over the over the subsequent time since then is I've been shown time and time and time again physically metaphysically so on both sides of it okay so like I said at the beginning if any of this is going over your head and any of this is installing fear in you please know that that isn't my intention drop off of the Facebook live move on um, go about your day please do not use this where I'm using this as a safe space for people to be able to watch and to learn from my it's only my opinions guys I'm not saying that this is like fact what I'm I'm saying that this is factual from my own opinion okay now I've just given you a lot of things that you can do to help yourself stay grounded, that you can do with your family, okay? For me right now, the best thing that we can do as a community for as long as we have got Facebook, and Facebook will always be there, guys, but they're just having a bit of a clear out on the um, the elite media platform. So if we lose technology for a few days or even a day or 10 days or whatever, meditate read, go and connect with nature, cook up some amazing food. Like I, I've been making, if you guys are watching my stories, I'm making amazing food right now. I'm very intuitive with, um, with what I'm doing. I just want you guys to know that there is a potential that this may happen. That's why I decided that I had to come on and share this. And as you guys know, I only do this stuff behind closed doors in my private group normally. Reach out to people. If you know people that are vulnerable in another country, reach out to them. If you know people in your own country that are vulnerable, reach out to them. Ask what you can do because love is the only thing that is going to heal this world. Love is the only thing that is going to heal us, guys. That is why I created Self Love Club. People around the world have thought that I was nuts. People around the world thought it was for a different agenda. No, it's for this what's happening right now. This is the whole reason I set that group up. This is the whole reason I've been doing seminars around the world. This is the whole reason I've been trying to mass awaken you people for the last three years. I haven't wanted to say to you guys, you know, we're going to have a, a pandemic. We're going to get locked down. We're going to have this. We're going to have that because that would scare you. But the reality is, is that we're here now. We're here and we need to learn how to deal with it, guys. And the only way that we can do that is coming together as a community. Now, I've been asked a few times in the last few days if Self Love Club, ha um, the meetings are going to go ahead. They are absolutely going ahead. I understand if you guys don't want to come, they are going ahead. Donna and I will drive to these venues if we have to. That's, that is what the, they are going ahead, guys, because I know that these are safe spaces. Um, they're probably not going to be the normal content. I'm probably going to do mass awakening. I'm going to connect you. I'm going to ground you. I am literally going to do everything that I possibly can to get you guys prepared for what is incoming. You know, um, I actually did one in Glasgow um, last week and I went off on a total tangent. I didn't do half of the stuff that I needed to do, but it was the message preparing them for what is coming. You know, Laura, I love that. You said that in the group the other day. Laura said she, she's going to walk to Liverpool if she has to. But we, Donna and I, are going to go to the end of the earth to make this happen. The only time we will not be there is if we get locked down and we're physically not allowed to be out of the house, which I don't think is going to happen. I think if that happens, it'll be for a couple of days and that's it. If that happens, I will be running them on uh, a webinar. 
okay so anybody that has bought a ticket will be getting access via a webinar so please 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 do not think that there is anything that's going to come of that guys i just want you guys to know that this tonight has taken a lot for me um uh, it's not about me though and I needed to get over myself like honestly I've I have had a past life where I communicated um very clearly before um interestingly enough about uh a, another disease in a past life and it made me very fearful for this life which is why I do everything behind closed doors in my group especially when I've had people that I thought cared about me and people that are really good friends of some of my best friends shoot me down and tell me that I'm crazy and tell me that I shouldn't be saying certain things and do you know what guys um I get it I get it like I understand why we have fear I understand why we have anxiety but do you know what I say to those people this is my fucking time now this is my time to step up and protect the people that I know and love. And if the only way I can do that is via a public platform on social media, then you guys just need to drop off of my timeline. Because I am here to hold you guys together. Me with a load, a shed ton of other light workers around the world. Please don't think it's just me doing this, guys. You know, I got drafted in very, very late in the game. There are some profound, amazing human beings around the world. And I want you guys to send love to those people. Because if they're anything like me at the moment, you're not getting any sleep. You're not getting any rest. In wake state, you've got people coming to me. You're, you know, you're trying to do a million different things right now. So, guys, I am going to be running a um, meditation at 8 30 this evening so in 42 minutes i'm going to be running a meditation now if you're in my self-love club group with lucy you would have seen the picture of the glastonbury tour all i am going to do because i'm still going to switch my phone off before then at 8 30 p.m i am going to drop into meditation and i am going to go to the glastonbury tour and i am going to be there and any of you guys that want to come know i am holding your hands i am wrapping my arms around you and we are going to do this together and we are going to send love to this planet to the people that are in fear to the people that don't have social media access we are going to be making sure that everybody we know and love is in our thoughts so that actually we can come together together with peace it's time for us to come together with peace guys my ex-boyfriend i love him dearly my ex-boyfriend thought i was nuts he said to me lucy you're losing your marbles because i kept saying to him babe i know that i've i've been sent here to do something huge like absolutely huge absolutely huge and he kept saying to me Lucy you're mad just learn to settle down like learn to rest and I was like babe I can't help this I know I am here with a mission and like I say within a couple of weeks I had been shown all of this that is just unfolding now and for any of you guys that know me if you think back to the certain things that I've shown over the last three years you'll be like oh shit she's been trying to tell us this all the way along I'm not here to slap you guys into reality. I'm here to catch you when you're ready. So if this doesn't make any sense right now, just know when you are ready to be caught, I'm here for you. Just know I have like 650-ish people in my self-love club group with Lucy Davis right now that are ready to catch you. If you need to be held, just know there are people that are going to be there catching you. I am so blessed. I have got so many people that thankfully believe in me. It's very, very few people that give me a hard time, that think I'm crazy, that think I'm nuts, that think this, this is a whole conspiracy theory. I'm very, 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 very blessed that that is the case. The way we are going to conquer this, guys, the way that we are going to get through it is holding hands, loving each other. Please stop posting about the virus constantly. I get some of you are trying to do nice things. Get off of social media and go and speak to people or just message them. Like, let's stop creating these fears, guys. I get it's a real thing that's going on right now. But what we're doing is we're actually feeding what is actually going to cause us more destruction. So please, darling, if you, so if you are in a space of fear, I, I need you to drop into your heart space. 
Like put your hand on your heart every time you get fearful, your heart is beating for you and it's you're not asking it to. It's keeping you alive. Like what is there to fear when you've got something keeping you alive that you don't you're not even asking to? There is something greater than you that believes you need to be alive, which is why you're here. Now, whether you remember or not, and I've only remembered in the last 18 months, we've picked this lifetime, guys. We've picked this lifetime. We have absolutely picked this lifetime to come to this planet and go on this mission together. They just realized that I was a pretty tough, strong corporate woman and that I could handle some of this crap, which is why I've been shown it for the last three years, which is why I was, I've been dragged off to here, there and everywhere. And I'm not moaning about it, guys. I'm not moaning about it at all. I am so freaking glad that this isn't a shock to me. I am so freaking glad that they gave me all of these insights. I'm freaking glad that I've been able to wake people up to be able to support me and go on this journey. Because I know if if it wasn't, I would be crying too. I would be fearful. So that's why I'm saying, Sophie, you've got to trust me, babe. You have to trust me right now. I I am asking you, I know I'm a total stranger to you. I know you don't know who I am. Like, hopefully you're going to get to know me a little bit better. I, like, I don't even know how you found me. So I'm assuming somebody's shared my video and you've, you've, you're watching it. You have to trust me, babe. I am, I have all of your interests at heart. I promise you, I have all of your interest at heart. I have been doing everything I possibly can to get you guys ready for this moment. Maybe I could have been more open. Maybe I could have been more blunt. I don't know. But I have been doing everything I possibly can to get you here. So if you need safety, guys... All you need to do is reach out and connect in. If you want to be added to my group, Self Love Club with Lucy Davis, please just pop a request through. I want to be really open though, guys. There is some really, really open stuff being shared in there. So please go in there with a very open mind because you may well see stuff in there that you do not want to see. I am preparing all of us to be able to catch each other because the only way we are going to get through this, guys, is love. The only way we are going to get through this is love. And guys, I want to be honest, we're going to get through this. Somebody said to me today, um, somebody said to me today, Lucy, promise me that we're going to be okay. And I said to me, promise me you're going to connect in with my heart. You connect in with my heart, we're going to be okay. And that's what I'm saying to you guys. There's, there is no surprise I'm craving tomatoes at the moment. Tomatoes basically fuel the heart. I am doing so much work from my heart space when I'm awake, when I'm asleep. Literally, I'm, I'm doing so much work from my heart space right now, which is why I'm eating tomatoes 10 to the dozen. I've eaten four punnets. You know, I've, I've eaten four punnets today. I trust me with your lives guys trust me with your hearts i promise you i am here to shine the light for what is possible for your life i absolutely promise you that and yes for the people laughing i'm probably going to look like a tomato in the next few days but you know tomatoes are good for your heart and intuitively i get drawn to where i need to go people have been asking me for months why are you not traveling and it's because i've known that this is coming guys we are absolutely, I love the fact that you just put that, we are going to be fine, we have to be united though guys, like I said a little while ago, united we stand, divided we fall, so if you want to be united, I am going to be doing, at 8.30 8 this evening, I am literally going to be doing a meditation, so wherever you are around the world, that's um, 35 minutes, so in Sydney and Melbourne, it will be 7.30am your time, um, in the UK, it's going to be 8.30pm, you guys can work out your respective time zones around the world, literally at 8.30pm, I am going to be laid on my bed, I'm going to drop into a space of meditation, I'm going to go to the Glastonbury tour, if you don't know what the Glastonbury tour looks like, either hop in Self Love Club with Lucy Davis very quickly and look or Google it and what we're going to do is we're going to meet at the top of the hill and we are literally just going to sit there we're going to hold each other's hands we're going to hug whatever is comfortable for you um, I said in my group earlier if you know me 
you're holding my hand, you're connected to my heart space. If you know Donna or one of my other angels, Claire, Pauline, anything like that, connect in with them, okay? Just know that their energy is feeding off of my energy and vice versa, okay? We're going to do this collective um it's it's just going to show any darkness out there that we are actually going to no you don't need to be on your device babe literally all i want you to do is if you sit and meditate sit and meditate however you're comfortable doing if you lie and meditate lie and meditate and let's just envisage that we are together on the glastonbury tour guys i just want to be really open with you we are so freaking powerful we can actually be there together and as you guys know, the heart chakra of the world is at Glastonbury, which is why I want to take us there. I want us to show them, the powers that be, the people that are causing the fear, the destruction and whatever, that actually love is going to save this goddamn planet. It really is. And you've got to trust that everything is going to start to get cleansed. We're already seeing the air over China, um, the pollution over China dis disintegrate massively. We're seeing lots of other things as well, guys, but I don't want to blow your, blow your brains on at this time on a Sunday evening. So please know you are powerful. Please know if you've got emotional tonight like I have been. Please know it's because your soul is saying to you she's talking the truth. Please know this is about let's coming together. Let's create the momentum that we need as a collective because we actually can change the world together, guys. And I know it. All of the light workers are coming together. Of course, I will, Sabine. No worries. Um, we're all coming together. We're all rising up and we're all ready to do this now. Guys, I love you so much. Remember, if you feel flighty, like the energy today has been really heavy, if you feel flighty, kick your shoes off, go and walk outside on the grass, have lots of water, touch trees, get out in nature, breathe, read, sit down with your family, turn the television off, please, for your own sanity, for your own, thank you Lauren, I appreciate that babe, um, guys, I love you and I mean that. I love you guys so much like you're my family and that is why tonight I had to come on. Thank you so much for being patient. I know I feel much more relaxed now. I've been dreading this. Honestly, I've been dreading doing this Facebook Live. I really, really have. So thank you so much for all of your support, everybody. I love you. My soul honours you so much and no doubt I will be seeing you on the tour very, very soon, guys. And if not, chances are I, I'm doing a lot of work at night at the moment. So if I end up in your dreams or if I come to you, just welcome me in and let me do the work that I need to do, guys, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for supporting and see you guys in 32 minutes. See you on the tour, guys.